Hello and welcome to my new scholarship episode. In this video, I bring a very exciting opportunity for international student. If you are looking for a fully funded scholarship in Australia, so this video is a great choice. Monash University has announced a wonderful opportunity for international students offering fully funded master and PhD scholarship. Without wasting your time, let's go to my computer screen. I will explain how you can apply for this scholarship, what is the eligibility criteria, what documents do you need, and what is the best strategy to get this scholarship. Let's start. Welcome to my computer screen. Co-funded Monash Graduate Scholarship CFMGS. This is the name of this program and the application uh, deadline is March 31st, 2023. There are two rounds. Uh, the first round closing date is March 31st and the second round deadline is August every year. So Monash University is one of the top universities in Australia if you are planning to move to Australia. So I believe this is a best opportunity. Okay, let's talk about the, the first is the benefits what Monash University is giving to international students if you will win this scholarship. So let's talk about living allowance. Okay, uh, so Monash University is giving the full time equivalent rates, uh, the stipend to international students, the total value of the stipend for a year is 33,000. Um, Australian dollar are uh, 1269.23 Australian dollar for 15 days uh, fortnightly. Uh, so this is the value of the stipend. There are some other additional benefits. The relocation allowance 1000 Australian dollars are uh, 1500s uh, Australian dollars for international students. And then we have also some other types of uh, uh, scholarships offered by Monash University. So you can get all the information of the different scholarship and the different stipend uh, value of uh, the different universities or different programs offering to international students. For example, Maxwell King PhD scholarship, 40,000 is more than uh, the RTP stipend uh, scholarship program. So Maxwell King PhD scholarship value uh, 40,480 Australian dollars per year. Also 1,552.92 Australian dollar for 15 days. So this is uh, here. Here is all the information is available. So every year they have two different rounds, March and uh, um, August. So these are the stipend and allowance rates information. Uh, if you are interested for this scholarship, so I believe this is a wonderful opportunity. Okay, and uh, let's go back. We have some uh, relocation allowance. I have already mentioned 1000, 1500 is the same information also available here. Okay, and now the next thing, am I eligible? You must be one of the following an international student. You must meet the following criteria. The first in Monash competitive scholarship selection process requirement. So here you can find the, your PhD and research master course transfer and centrally managed scholarship. So if you are, for example, looking for to transfer your master research program to Australian, so what is the eligibility criteria? So here is the information is available. Also for the scholarship, whole information is available. So uh, you can read to all this information and also if you are looking for the different documents that you need for this scholarship. So I have already uploaded a video last week where you can get all the information and how the chat GPT really want to help you to uh, create or prepare some documents for your scholarship applications. The link of the video is available in the description below so you can watch and get all the information. Okay. And then we have the next is the Monash English language proficiency requirement. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Australia is a country we have a mandatory requirement of English proficiency um, certificate. IELTS are also GMAT, GRE, uh, PTA. I believe PTA is the comparatively easier option for international students who are applying for any scholarship where there is a uh, English proficiency um, uh, requirement. They have to submit a certificate 
of any international English proficiency language certificate. Okay, so uh, language of instruction is English. Uh, so qualification completed more than five years prior to submission of application for admission will not be considered. The, the total duration or the validity of the English proficiency certificate is two years. For example, IELTS have the two years validity. So you have to be make this sure you don't have any outdated or expired English language certificate. Uh, Monash University also approved some English language countries. For example, there is the list of Australia, uh, Bahamas, uh, Botswana, and Fiji, Ghana, and there are many other New Zealand, Nigeria. So these are the the country that Monash University approved as a English language uh, countries. If any of the if they have, if any of the student from these uh, uh, selected countries, if any of the student from these countries have done any English course. Uh, from Monash University. So in this case, there is a, an exemption. In other case, you have to provide English language uh, certificate. Uh, so we have the option of IELTS, TOEFL, uh, TOEFL paper based, TOEFL internet based, and Pearson test of uh, academic English, PTA. This is comparatively very easy. PTA, the, 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 the best thing of the PTA English uh, proficiency exam, they announce the result within 48 hours. So this is also a wonderful option and is comparatively easier than other English proficiency exam. And we have the Cambridge English related uh, test. You can choose any of the English proficiency exam. So these are the different um, general requirements for arts, business and economics. Uh, this is the different requirements. So for general requirements, for example, for I 6.5 overall, no band less than six. And for arts and uh, business and economics students, uh, the requirement is seven overall, no bands less than 6.5. So these are the English uh, proficiency uh, requirement for this scholarship. Okay. Uh, then we have how to apply. So as I mentioned, you have two international rounds. One international round, the deadline is uh, March 31st. And the second international round, the uh, the deadline is August 31st. After the eligibility criteria and the requirement, now simply click on apply direct to Monash. And here we have the list of the supporting documents. Uh, supporting documentation, uh, here is the complete information available. What document do you need for this scholarship? So each and every information available here. The link is available in the description so you can read all the information. Okay, applications, the current student, then we have the international applicant. So these are the different uh, requirements is available, supporting documents. So you can get the information of the supporting documents or simply click on the supporting documentation uh, section. So each and uh, every information is available here. And for international students, Monash International Leadership Scholarship, these are the different programs. Monash International Merit Scholarship, KC, KUOK Scholarship. These are the different scholarships category offered by Monash University to international students. So then research degree applicant, Monash graduate education and some other information is available here. And lastly, how you can apply for this scholarship. So click on this how to apply. So once you will click on this, then you have to select uh, direct application international students and click on apply button. It will open a new portal uh, where you have to first create an account, uh, fill out your personal details and upload all the uh, required documents and submit your application. I hope you understand this simple process. Uh, if you will have any further queries, so please write a comment. I would like to answer all your queries on time. If you want to prepare your documents by using the chat GPT, I have already uploaded a video on my YouTube channel. Also, you can find the link of the video in the description below. So chat GPT will really help you to create, for example, the sample of recommendation letter, uh, the sample of the different uh, study plans, how you can also create a sample of the English proficiency certificate, also any other related documents that you need for your scholarship application. This is a very simple and easy process. I hope you understand this process. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all my future videos on time. See you in the next video with more valuable content. Take care. Have a good day.